Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm back on the SLO 1400 today. This time, I'm going to address a problem it's got with the pause. The machine won't enter into the pause mode, so I'm going to dig into this thing and find out why that is. So let's get this top cover off. Okay, so it looks like I got a bad switch. Just have to get this switch replaced. I just took the pause tactile switch out. Here's a new tactile switch I have, but that's a much smaller switch. It fits the pattern, but it's just too low profile. This is a much bigger switch here. And there it is, there's the SL5000 parts unit. And I can harvest a lot of parts off this machine to um, to use in my SLO 1400 over here. And I think I'll go ahead and choose a button that was most likely didn't see a lot of use. Something over here on this panel saw less use than, say, on this panel. Well, that one's kind of hash. Oh, there it is. Usually what I like to do when I'm pulling one of these five pin switches, just pull the ground pin. You can just melt it off. Just avoids all the hassle of using the solder wick. There, have it out in seconds. Let's clean that up. Leave no flux behind. There's the pause switch installed. I'll just test the continuity of this tactile switch. Okay, now let's try the pause circuit. Okay, even though I've replaced the pause switch, there's still no... pause is still not working. With the DMM, We'll take a look at this pause enable line. This should be steady at about 9 volts. And you see here it's at 0.2, where other tactile switches are steady at 9.5. Okay, I'll just have to trace it out then with the uh, DMM, the continuity tester. The top pin should be ground. Bottom enable pin to pin 4 of CN101, the yellow wire. This yellow wire, pin 4 on CN101, is the pause enable. So I'm going to follow this yellow wire and see where it leads inside the system. I'm going to first put this back on. LED VU meter display. Okay, I gotta drop the preamp board. With one probe connected to the enable line of pause. We see that. It enters into the RC14 board. This is the remote control interface board. There's the yellow wire here. Okay, not that yellow wire. How about this one down here? Okay, so this bottom yellow wire. So here's the other end of the yellow wire. 
pin 4 of CN 101 is now pin 12 of CN 517. Okay, it picks up the pause enable from the RC14 board for the remote control end and should appear out this connector, the blue wire, and there's nothing there. Let's see what we can find behind this connector. And I think I see the problem. It might be hard to see on this camera, but you see this pin right here? So whoever worked on it last went a little too hasty and bent this pin right over. So now that it's back together, go ahead and put that back on. Okay, there we go. All right. Okay, so that's back in. I can test the continuity from the switch to this last pin, pin 12 of uh, CN519. Now with the pin put back together right, it should be able to send the correct enable signal over to the system CPU. Okay, the pause is acting up. It works intermittently, it's not working again. So with the scope set to DC, and using my DC probe here, I'll take a look at the the enable, the interrupt pin here on the pause switch. And as we can see, the voltage is varying. It seems to be swinging up and down, and it also looks kind of noisy. When we compare it to the fast forward button, this is what fast forward looks like. 9.4 and it looks pretty smooth and clean this is what play looks like same 9.4 okay I'll have to I'm gonna have to take out the whole RC 14 board and see what's going on unfortunately I've got to come back in here again get the preamp board out of the way And this time I'm going to remove the entire RC14 board. Yeah, CN519 pin 12. You look right here. The pause button. This is definitely bad. You can see how it's dry and cracked. Yeah. So that, that all needs to be reflowed. This whole line should be reflowed. The rest of it looks good, but this doesn't look too good. Okay, so that should work a little bit better. Okay, everything's back together, and here's the pause button. 9.3. I'll take it. Nice and clean and steady. Let's 
See how it goes when we're playing a tape. I say that's working. Thank <laughs> you.